Hello everyone. Today we will learn a very important interview question. We will see the different test cases for an e-commerce website. In your interview, definitely you will get some questions around test cases. Maybe your interviewer will ask, tell me what and all different scenarios you will test for an e-commerce website or banking application or insurance application or any mobile app. So, this video will help you how to answer such type of questions. Also, I am planning to bring up more videos on practical questions. Anyway, without any other delay, let's start. To understand, here we will take an example of Flipkart website and we will try to cover all these areas like home page, buy product and user registration. We will take only these three areas. So, in the home page again how the page and all are loading, how the navigation is happening, how the search functionality is working, how the filter functionality is working, how sorting functionality is working, we will write test cases around that and similarly in the buy product we will see how to add to basket, how to add products to the basket to validate the address areas, how you can add a address, how you can remove the address, how you can do the payment, what are the different payments available, how you can deliver the products. So, all those areas we will see in buy product section and then user registration. If you are a new user, how you can do the registration. So, let us go to our Flipkart website and let us see it there. So, here you will see I have landed to the Flipkart website. So, what will be our very fast test cases? So, the very fast test cases you can validate that the website loads properly on different browsers and devices. Okay. So, validate in Chrome browser, validate in Firefox, validate in IE. So, you can check in different different browsers. Validate the responsiveness of the website design for the mobile and tablet devices. So, your website is working fine in the uh, Chrome browser, in Firefox browser, whether it is working in your mobile or not, whether it is working in your tablet or not. So, all those things you need to verify. Validate that the company logo and name are clearly visible. So, here you can see the company logo, right? Company uh, text. So, all those things are should visible properly. Okay. Validate login and sign up buttons. Uh, very clearly okay because user needs to log in user needs to sign up if they have not logged means they have not done the registration right so that should be visible okay validate that the user is able to navigate through all the products across different categories we have different different categories right so uh, user should able to navigate to all those categories okay for example i want to go to grocery i want to go to mobiles okay i should able to navigate all those things Validate that all the links and banners are redirecting to the correct product or category pages and none of the links are broken. So, here if we will click it will go to some other page. So, all the links should work fine. Okay. For example, become a seller if I am clicking it here it should go to the correct page okay. that should work fine. Okay. Validate that all the information displayed like product name, category name, price and product description is clearly visible. Validate that all the images, products and banners are clearly visible. Okay, whatever image you are seeing here for example. So, this should be very clear. Okay. Validate that category pages have a relevant products listed specific to the category. So, here you are seeing the mobile category. right? So, all the mobile related things should displayed. So, for example, fashion. In fashion, all the fashion related things should get displayed. Okay. Validate that the correct count of total products is displayed on the category page. Okay. What is the total count? Okay. That should come properly. Then we will come to the search functionality. Okay. Test cases related to search. So, here you can search your products, brands and more. Right? Here you can see. So, you can write a test cases, uh, you can write a test case like that. Uh, validate that on searching all the products satisfying the search criteria are visible on the search result page. For example, I am searching for a mobile, Samsung mobile. Okay. So, if I am writing it here and pressing the enter button, then I should list, I should see all the Samsung related uh, mobiles. Okay. 
validate that on searching products get displayed on the basis of their relevancy okay relevant product should be displayed validate that the count of product is correctly displayed on the search result page for a particular search item okay validate that filtering functionality correctly filters product based on the filter applied so this is again the filtering test cases okay validate that filtering works correctly on category page okay we should able to filter it properly uh, for example you are buying a laptop so what and all configurations you need so you are searching with that for example here i'll go to the laptop okay so in the laptop category okay let me click on something here i see all the filtering kind of thing right i i need for example core i5 i need for example ram capacity as 16 gb so all these things should give me the proper result okay so filtering should work fine validate that filtering works correctly on the search result page validate that the correct count of total products is displayed after a filter is applied validate that the correct count of products get displayed on applying multiple filters okay so all these are filter related test cases then you have sorting of test cases so basically if you want to list something okay here you see price low to high if i want to search uh, sort it with like that or price high to low i should able to sort it new newest first i should able to sort it so validate that all the sort options work correctly on sorting the products based on the sort option chosen validate that sorting works correctly on the category pages validate that sorting works correctly on the search result page validate that sorting works correctly on the pages containing the filtered result after applying filters so validate that the product count remains the same irrespective of the sorting option applied so all these sorting related test cases should work fine so you should write test cases around sorting okay then we'll move to the next one that is product buy flow okay we want to buy a product right so here let me click on something let me click on something here okay see so here i can add to cart i can give the size whatever i want okay so what will be the test cases validate that on the product page the user can select the desired attribute of the product example size color everything right the description should be proper okay so validate that user can add to the cart one or more products okay validate that user can add product to the wish list if you don't want to add it now you can add to the wish list okay so this thing also should work fine validate that user can see the previously added product on the cart page after signing into the application validate that user can successfully buy more than one product that were added to his cart validate that user cannot add more than the available inventory of the product for example inventory is not there then user should not able to add it well that that the limit to the number of products a user can buy is working correctly for example there is a limit you cannot buy for example 10 iphones together okay so that limit functionality should work fine and a proper error message should get displayed okay means customer should know why he cannot buy that okay so that proper error message should be displayed okay so all these are related to your add to cart related to your product uh, so let me add one thing here add to cart okay then maybe let's click on the plus order okay so now if i click here so now i have logged in and now i can see my addresses right delivery addresses whatever address already added here that i can see it here okay so now we can validate the test cases or we can add the test cases related to address validate the address management feature including adding editing or deleting address so i i should able to add a new address here i should able to delete the existing address here okay so all those things i should able to do it here okay validate that the address are correctly associated with the customer account okay validate that the selected shipping address is displayed accurately during the checkout process validate that the delivery can be declined during checkout for the places where shipping is not available if in some places shipping is not available so the delivery should be declined there okay so all those validations all those functionality you should add into your test cases okay then next thing is payment 
So, here you can see right the total amount you can see it here whatever the products you have added that that price you can see it here. So, let me just click the delivery address and let me come here ok maybe something else was there already added to the basket. So, that is why we can see two items here ok again the total price we can see it here. So, test cases related to payment like validate different payment methods like credit card, debit card, net banking, UPI, cash on delivery all those options should be available ok. If I am clicking here ok. So, here I can see different different payment options ok. So, all these payment options should be available ok. Validate total amount for all the products are getting calculated and displayed properly. So, total amount should get calculated properly and displayed properly. Validate all the coupons and vouchers are getting added and calculated properly. Validate that product return functionality works correctly. Validate that product replacement functionality works correctly. So, all these things are related to your payment test cases. Then the next thing is user registration. So, here I come to the login page and if you are a new user and you want to do first time sign up right. So, you can click here ok. So, if you are a new user you can create your account ok. So, basically you can do your registration. So, for that what and all test cases you will write validate that all the required fields like username, email, password, confirm password are present on the registration page. Validate that on passing valid values a user should get registered and the same should be allowed to log into the application. Validate that if a user tries to register an existing username then an error message should get displayed. Validate that the required or mandatory fields are marked with the star symbol. Validate that for a better user interface drop downs, radio buttons, check boxes all these fields are displayed wherever possible instead of just text boxes. Validate the page has both submit and cancel or reset button at the end. Validate that clicking submit button after entering all the required fields submits the data to the server. Validate that clicking the cancel or reset, and reset button after entering all the required fields cancel the submit request and reset all the fields. Validate that if no value is passed to the mandatory fields and submit button is clicked then it leads to a validation error. Validate that the user can leave the optional fields blank and on clicking the submit button no validation error appears. Validate that whenever possible validation should take place on the client side. For example, if a user presses submit button without entering a username and password then this validation should take place on the client side instead of sending blank entries to the server. Validate the upper limit of different text boxes fields. Validate validation of the date and email fields. Only valid dates and only email IDs should be allowed. Validate validation of numeric fields by entering alphabets and special characters. Validate that leading and trailing spaces are trimmed. That is in case of the user append space before and after a field then the same should get trimmed before getting stored in the server. So, all these test cases are related to your user registration ok. So, we discussed test cases around your home page around your buy product and around your user registration things ok. So, that is all for today I hope this video is helpful for you if you like this video press the like button share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Thank you bye bye.